Hey, welcome back. This is Jana with Pearl Together, and I'm here with knitwear designer, Amba O'Brien. Welcome. Hi, Jana. Hi. Good to be back. Yes, we want to tell our viewers today all about this upcoming project we're collaborating on. Do you want to, you want to spill it? You want to tell everybody? Sure. Um, for my fourth year of a big Advent Cal, uh, Jana and I are teaming up for the first time to create daily videos. So we wanted to add some extra fun to the daily Advent period and um, share our little packages that we'll be opening, but also introduce you to some of the fantastic dyes that have created your kits and talk about different traditions all around the world. I'm calling it more December traditions because right. there's so many right. different religions and uh, really just have this about Advent. Right. It's about December. Right. It's about this the season and the holidays in general. And it's a lot of fun. We have people contributing recipes, like you mentioned, and we have a few people that have talked about their family's traditions, whether that's for solstice or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or, you know, throughout the whole holiday season. So that's going to be a ton of fun. I've never tried to do a vlogmas, so to speak, where I upload daily videos in December. So that's going to be a blast. And it's also so interesting to me because you're in the Southern Hemisphere and it's summertime for you and we're cold and it's just it's so interesting we were talking just before we started recording about some different food traditions that we both have in our various families and in our different countries and I think it's going to be amazing as well as lots of fun the knitting I've never had an advent kit before so this is my first year doing this and viewers if you're kind of new to the idea the advent kit is where you open a little, you have a little gift for yourself every day from December 1st until traditionally until Christmas. And then we open our little yarn packages, our little mini skeins, and that may be a surprise for you. And it may not be like, I know what mine looks like because I, it's a kit that I ordered that was produced. Um, it was revealed last year, but still, I'm not going to remember which colors on which day. My kids are going to wrap it up for me, and that's going to be a blast. And you have a I'm, kit that you haven't I'm being really good. Seen. I haven't opened mine yet, so it will be so a you surprise have one of those little, day. You have one of those little presents every single day, and they're numbered, right? Yeah. So you get, so this okay, is day, day one. one. And you haven't even peaked? I haven't peaked. You have, <laughs> that's discipline. That's mm. discipline. You have good self-restraint. I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> it's tempting yeah. and then Amba has 11 patterns that work uh, specifically for little mini skeins you know and you open one each day and you knit your little mini skein and then you go to the next one the next day so tell us about your patterns I'm excited about the one that I oh I'm excited about several I mean I have purchased several of them but well but you're planning to about... make the throw this year aren't you the, yeah. which is this here the red bent throw so each day you could knit up a little square and eventually have 24 squares with the different colors and then they join together and the overall pattern works once they join together so that it creates a bigger pattern so that's the red vent throw this year i've produced five new patterns i get really addicted Amazing. to making mini skein patterns and this year I have five I created Radvent throw Radvent wrap which I'm wearing 24 mini skeins in it but because it's a fade they blend beautifully together yeah. yes that's lovely and um, this will also work. It's designed so that if you don't have a fade set, some sets are more random, mm -hmm. that this will be a stripe okay. version. So it just works right. really beautifully either way. Because some people want a surprise. They don't know what they're getting. Some people uh, do ask their dyer if it's a fade or not or and have mm -hmm. some idea of maybe the colour palette beforehand. Mm -hmm. I know you were keen okay. to know <laughs> what colours well, you were a getting. Lot of uh, where I got my kit with Danny from Sunshine Yarns, even when she originally 
made these kits in 2019, she put up a mood board. It was a, you know, like a vision board mm. that had all the different colors, but, you know, and it was kind of the inspiration for the set. And so even though you didn't know specifically what it would look like, you got the general idea of whether it was warmer mm. colors or jewel tones or cooler colors or autumn, you know, autumn yeah. colors, or, I mean, you kind of had a general idea. Yeah. Dyer, you see their work and know that they always do beautiful work then you're good relax. yeah yeah so um also I have the Radvent pillow so you might pop up a picture of that which is a mosaic pillow pattern and I also made the first my first Radvent or Advent garment. This year we have Rad Radvent cardigan. I named them all Radvent this year. It gets a bit confusing. Uh, so there's Radvent cardigan, which you might also pop up okay. for us. Yep. The cardigan I love because it's knitted from side to side like this across. It's super interesting and it it looks fantastic with that gradient fade that you did. Again, it works beautifully with the fade, and I use Danny's beautiful kit that you, you you're using this year. And it also works fantastically with color block stripes. Mm -hmm. So test knitters have been creating another version where they've got stripes instead of a fade, and it's so beautiful. And it also a tester just finished one that's a single color, and it's beautiful in the single color too. So that's the five new ones for this year. And yeah, then you mentioned, I, years, think, I might have interrupted you. you ha after the cardigan, you said there's a cowl. Oh, also. a cowl, that's right, the yeah. red vent cowl. And the same thing, that works beautifully with a fade and then also you could make a stripe variation of it. It's the same pattern, it's just the way where you, when you change right. the colours, if you have a fade kit, it will fade. If you have a random kit, it will be random. The cowl uses smaller, like if you have smaller mini skeins that are a little bit shorter yardage, you could do, does not one you can get away with smaller? Or not, not that Am particular one. You sort of can. I designed that one for DK mini skeins. So oh. if you've got a DK weight advent kit, you could knit the Radvent cowl. However, my sample, I knit two samples, one with DK weight and one I used fingering weight held double, and you will need the full 80-yard fingering weight mini skein to okay. hold it double. So there are, there's another cow. I'm just going to quickly look up my patterns um, because all the five this year are called Radvent. Yeah. In the previous years, so there were three years before that, and I had six patterns from those previous years, and they all start with the word Advent. So there's Adventurous Wrap, which is this one here, yeah, yeah. which um, you can see has 24 sections of colour with a main colour in between, and that's really addictive to make. And then all the other patterns are also Advent Adventuring Cow. The Adventuring Cow, that one uses smaller amounts. You could use okay. the leftovers of a kit for that one. And also the adventurer cow. In addition to this, three other wrap patterns. There's a lot of lots to choose from. A lot. Patterns. And there, so you have 11 total patterns. We'll put the links where you can get them all down below in the video description. And the reason we bring up that there's so many choices is because you, if you want to participate in the knit along, you'll need to knit, choose one of these 11. And that would be a quote qualifying pattern for like the daily giveaways and then the big grand prizes. And we both have those giveaways going on in various social media 
platforms. So primarily the daily giveaways will happen on Ravelry, but then there's other choices, other options if you want to enter like the grand prize. Uh, so you just need to go to our websites, both AMBA's website, amba.co and pearltogether.com. I'll put all the information down below where you can see how to enter the various, how to participate. <laughs> Yeah, and there's lots of ways, as you're saying, yeah, to participate. Yeah. Um, you can join the, the Ravelry threads where there'll be daily conversation. It can get really busy, but it's a lot of fun. You get to mm -hmm. see in one place everyone's advent kits opening yeah. up and be inspired by all those and then watch people's progress on their patterns. And then thanks to our incredible sponsors, most of whom are the yarn dyes that have made these beautiful kits for us, um, we've got gorgeous prizes every day. We'll have a big drawing sometime, and it's generally random. There'll be kind of fun ways to enter the draw, but generally it's about participating over in Ravelry. And we know that some people can't participate there, so we are making sure that there's a place to enter a, right. a final draw, and there'll be some beautiful prizes there right. too. Yeah. Yeah, and since this is my first year doing it, my group is certainly not as large as yours, but we're going to have a similar situation going on in the Pearl Together Ravelry group, but then also we'll have conversation about it um, in on Facebook as well. And then, you know, we'll be posting stuff on Instagram as well as here. The daily videos will be here on the Pearl Together YouTube channel. So there's lots of places you can watch and hang out and comment. And yeah, so that's going to be a ton of fun. So all of this begins December 1st. Fantastic. And until then, you can check out the patterns and I have 20% off all of them. So if you want to get organized, you can get your pattern in advance. Three of the patterns will be fully updated on November 30. So those patterns you can look at on my website for details and on Ravelry, but they're not available in my Etsy store yet. They will be available on the 30th of November. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for my Ravelry library to be updated. <laughs> but I'm planning. I'm planning. So I ordered my kit, and the only thing I still have to do is get that main, and I'm not worried about it right now because I probably have something in my stash, that main color, the joining color for all mm. of the blocks. But I'm not And you need to meet 24 it. squares first before you need that anyway. Right. So. so I have some time to sort that out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the dates for the, the knit along too. Uh, the busy month December, some people can complete their project, their whole Advent project in the, the 24, 25 days, and that's great. And some people need a bit longer because December can be really busy. Yeah. So the cow runs through to I think February, early February. I can't remember the exact date. So you have time after December to yeah, finish in your up. group. I'll do another project, and yeah, yeah. I'm so Thanks. excited to be sharing the interviews that we've been working on with all oh, the country yarnies. Yeah, it's a lot. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Thanks for joining me to get everybody going on this, and and uh, be sure to ask questions if you don't get it. Go post in the Ravelry groups or on our various social media sites, and we'll get back to you. And make sure everybody understands what they're doing. Yeah. I'm excited to start. <laughs> all right. right. Well, all right. Thank you. Thanks, Jenna.